All right, welcome to Learn Wire. Today, we're going to be talking about the top three AI detection tools. So we need some content so we can go test these tools out. So right off the bat, I'm gonna go over here. And today, instead of using a keyword research tool, I thought I would use uh, just trusty old Google. And I just started typing in one of my niche, uh, my niches, which is making money online. And I said, what is the best way uh, to make money? And I just started kind of using the alphabet and so forth. Actually, there's some really good ones right over here as well. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just go with this one right here with real estate. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Don't know if this is a good keyword. Um, it's probably very competitive, but just for example purposes, let's get started. So the newcomer on the block, uh, ChatGBT is probably always going to be in the running for uh, when you're just creating uh, almost any kind of content with AI. ChatGBT is definitely going to be in the talks now. Uh, but what we're trying to do is achieve, um, you know, human passable or human written content with these AI writers. And if we just typed in, write me an article right here, I can tell you right now, it's going to uh, be 100% AI. Uh, if you use chat GBT, you do have to come up with some unique prompts and so forth. I found one right over here with the AI PRM um, chat GBT prompts uh, extension. You install that extension and then you get all these different tools right now. They have, uh, uh, looks like, I mean, every day is about a hundred get added right now. They're closing in on 1500 prompts that are already added in here. But right now, this one says it's going to write us human written, 100% unique SEO optimized. Let's just go ahead and you, you, what you do is you click on that. And then we're just going to put our title in over here. And then we're going to push enter and it's going to go and write for us. Let's move forward and let's go to Jasper over here as well. And today for this one, I'm going to, let's see, go to templates, documents and uh, free form Let's just go and do the workflow real quick, a blog post right here. And we would just throw the text in right here, throw the text in right there and push generate. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go create this article in Jasper and I'll be right back. Okay. So that took about 60 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and push finish over here and just come over here and put conclusion and make that an H2. And we've got ourselves a nice thousand word article really quickly. And let's move forward. Let's go and go to copy AI and go to blog post wizard. Let's throw in our title and our keyword right there and just push generate out outline. This one's probably the fastest out of all the tools. Um, we're going to say generate talking points right here and you're going to see me. Um, and I will be doing this chat uh, chat. They're going to have their own chat bot or chat GPT like um, copy AI right here. Chat by copy AI is here. Um, I will be doing a video on that. Um, I don't know if that's actually available. Let me right click and open that up. Um, looks like it's not, I don't think it's available quite yet. Um, or maybe it is uh, inside of here. I need to watch that video, but I will be making a video on that uh, shortly. I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. Um, we have our talking points, just generate content real quick. And there's our content create blog post and we have a 700 word article right there pretty short article but for testing purposes it will be just fine we'll go over here and create an article in scale nut enter the keyword in right there and push start and then we also are going to go over here to uh, hypotenuse ai and we're going to go to blog posts and we're going to write the same exact title so we're doing the same test in all of these, uh, write your own title. Nope, generate titles right here. So we're going to be writing on the exact same subject in what is this? One, two, three, four, five tools, and just kind of doing a test with them. And it's going to generate. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and finish up uh, Scale Nut and Hypotenuse. I'll be right back, and then we'll do start doing the AI detecting detection testing. Okay, while Hypotenuse and Scale Nut are finishing up. Here we go, go to the preview. We've got our content. So let's go back over here to ChatGBT and check out what we've got over here. So this one needs to finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and push continue real quick. They've got a nice table of contents. Um, what's the best way to make money with real estate? So it's got an introduction, a table of contents. That's cool. Um, all right, I think we need to push continue real fast one more time on ChatGBT. And then it's also gonna add in some facts. Uh, this is a pretty cool, um, prompt to use. I'm going to go ahead and push stop generating. We don't need any more of that. I'm going to go ahead and just grab this content here. We don't need the, ta I'm not going to go with the table of contents either. I'm just going to go right to the introduction. So we're going to copy that 
and I'm going to open up a notepad because we do need to get rid of where it said to continue. You want to do this. This looks like it would be coming from AI when it just says continue writing. So you want to be careful with that. Okay, so we've got it. All right, so now we've got the chat GPT. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And we're going to go into our AI detector number one, which is originality.ai. I think this one has the most funding and is probably my favorite. Yes, it is paid. And between the three, this is the only one that's actually paid. Um, but I do think that this one is the easiest uh, to use. You don't have limitations on uh, content length that you can put in here and so forth. So we're going to go over here and go to, let's see, content scan start new scan and I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to go ahead and take the plagiarism off and scan this now. So we have a 1% original and 99% uh, AI. I'm going to go over here and uh, create a chart real quick for us as well. Actually, I'll just do that in Microsoft Excel, which will be easier. I'll go put that on my other screen and then we'll reveal the results after. Okay, and this is something new as well in originality.ai is that they're going to actually highlight all the, uh, the like the confidence level of the AI. So like this green right here would be um, human written content and then all this in orange, pretty much the entire thing is basically um, saying that it's AI. We're going to keep the AI number right here. So AI is 99%. Um, and then we're going to go and just grab that. We're going to go into the next one, which is content at scale. Uh, right now, at the time of this, you, uh, at the time of making this video, uh, this is free to use and they don't seem to have, they do have a 25,000 character limit, but that's a pretty big limit um, for free. So we'll go and paste this in as well. So we're going to go and I'm just going to copy this. <clears throat> I need to go down to my notepad real quick, copy it from here. And we'll go and run this through as well on content at scale paste. And then we're just going to check for AI content. And we have a 64% likely both AI and human. Uh, so we're going to get a 64%. The human content score is 64. So that's actually, um, you want this to be a 99. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change my chart to the human score. Um, so this is going to be a 64. And then we're going to go over to the final one. So keep in mind this one content at scale. I'm sure most people are going to be using these tools, the, the last two tools because they're not paid. Um, content at scale um, is free and it doesn't, it is probably the best one for free because you get to uh, paste in a large amount of content and it will test it for free. But you will also see some pretty big differences between all of the tools. Uh, this one is free as well, but it is very limited on the amount. Um, this is at writer.com forward slash AI content detector. So this one does not allow you to have very many characters. So we're going to have to come way up here and delete most of this uh, content. And this makes it kind of annoying. Um, so we're only able to test a couple paragraphs. I'm going to analyze the text and 65% human generated content. So I got a 65% uh, score. So 65% score. So if we, uh, you know, stop for just a second and look at this, um, it would basically tell me that once we ran through these three tools, I think that these are the three best ones are kind of three of the really the only ones to use, to be honest. Um, but I think that there's more money, more research and more uh, things, uh, just resources going into originality um, for them to be able to detect these scores because um, how are they able to, you know, the, the, the sophistication of their algorithm, um, they're pinging this as 1% original and 99% AI. And we know that, you know, ChatGPT is not really going to spit out human like generated text it, it's uh, it is coming from an artificial intelligence software and this one is um you know because i guess what i'm trying to say is that chat gpt is great it's intelligent all kinds of good stuff right so no bashing whatsoever it's insane but it it's not as sophisticated as uh building something on top of this that is intentionally Right. ChatGPT is trying to is is a chatbot. It's answering questions and it's doing it very well, but it's not designed to generate human written content that will pass AI detection. Right. And so that's where I think that there are other tools that we're using where they're aware of this and they really are going to write into their algorithms using, uh, you know, GPT, um, 
chat GPT, GPT 3.5 and 4.0, all these different, uh, you know, language models that, uh, but they're going to be able to go in there and um, write their own coding on top of that. That's going to um, tell it not to use uh, certain words, uh, to use uh, shorter and shorter and more complex sentences, uh, to use more perplexity and burstiness the way that humans write. Okay. So there's a lot of things going on with these tools. So um, I think right out of the gate, you're just not going to get AI passable content with chat GPT. And this isn't really a video to discuss, you know, like a debate, whether it doesn't even matter, right? Google has published that they don't care if you use AI content, but do you trust Google at face value on everything that they say or publish? No, they've always got another thing going on or another agenda. And I wouldn't, um, I would try to produce as human, um, generated human generated content as much as possible. Uh, that's just my personal opinion, but nonetheless, um, so this one, that was the uh, chat GPT. We've got our chart going. I'll, I'll kind of cruise through the rest of these. So we've got our content. We're going to go and we're going to take the content from Jasper. Now I'm going to control a control C. We'll go back over to originality. We'll do a start new scan right over here. Uh, they kind of changed this up a little bit. Um, let's see here. Start new scan. I'm going to throw that in and scan now. I didn't want to check plagiarism. Dang it. So I don't really like, I mean, sometimes these tools, they just don't think before they launch these new features, it was way faster and better before, but now they've launched these new, some new features with originality. Now I've got to uncheck, uh, check plagiarism every single time. Um, that's kind of annoying, but, uh, that's just some feedback, but, uh, it is checking, um, the detection score right here. While it's doing that, I'm going to come over here and start on content at scale, check for AI content and 72% human score on Jasper on this one. And then we'll go with some AI, um, writer or writer.com remove that. And we've got to remember, you got to remove most of this. We'll come back to about here and that's too much. And let's go another sentence. And there we go. So analyze text there. And it says it's a hundred percent human generated out of Jasper. So there we go. 100. We'll go back over here. Um, and there we go. 65% original 35% AI. And this is what one of my points are. This is why I'm using Jasper more in my business because I think that they're putting their resources into uh, making sure that their content is better, is just that much better. Um, so not to go too much into that, but it's definitely pulling um, better numbers. So we got a 65 score there from Jasper. So let's move to copy AI. So we'll go back over here to copy AI. We'll grab our article over here, copy that, and we'll go in to uh, here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just delete and paste. And I'm going to just push the scan again right there. And Copy AI has a 53% uh, score. So pretty good. 53. And Content at Scale, let's go check them out. So we'll remove that. So doing a full-blown test with five of the most popular uh, content writers. Uh, one of them, I guess, uh, is less known, Hypotenuse. But um, it's one of my favorites for sure. But all these writers that everyone's using... And four out of the five are uh, definitely monthly paid uh, memberships. So uh, we've got a 61 right there. So pulling pretty good. And then let's go and check out the writer score. Paste that in. And then we've got to get rid of most of it. We'll just come back up to the top up here like so. And analyze that as well. So I'm going to keep cruising through um, doing it. And that one ended up at 99. Pretty cool. It seems like this one is probably the least, um, the, the writer.com I think has the least amount of like technology or the algorithm is, um, is a lot more forgiving than the other two. So, um, out of the three writer, it's nice. It's a nice little option to put your content through, but, um, it wouldn't be my go-to tool. The other two originality and content, um, at scale would definitely be the ones that I would probably use and trust the most. Let's move on to scale nut and we will just grab our, our content. We will copy that and go back into originality and paste that in right there and scan again. 
and we've got a 15% uh, on scale nut. We'll go to content at scale and test that one out real quick. Scan that. 86%. Uh, so this one is probably the biggest um, discrepancy between content at scale and uh, originality. This one's saying 86% is passing as human content. And then we'll go back over here and um, I'm going to make a guess that it's going to possibly be 100%. We will see. So I'm going to remove that, remove that, and scan. And we're at 98%. Okay, so we just have one more to test, and that is our hypotenuse article right over here. So I'm going to just go and grab our article right here, which ended up being a 1,600-word article. Copy that. Come into originality. And do this full um, test for you guys. And wow, that's actually impressive because the last time I just picked up another subscription to Hypotenuse and I'm also having one of my VAs uh, writing full time using the tool. Um, I will report back uh, some of our um, numbers and any kind of progress that we make with that. But Hypotenuse, uh, about a month or two ago when I was using it a lot, um, would, would pull like a 1% right here. So they are constantly improving their software as well. And this is really, really exciting to see that they have a lot of content that's coming out as original. So 45%, I'm actually happy with, with them because I love this software hypotenuse. So, um, we'll go over here and we will put the 45 down and we will go in and test the other two real quick. Let's see right over here with AI detection with content at scale, we're getting a 63 and right over here. Finally, the last one, and we've got to get rid of most of it right here, analyze text and 42. So it's just interesting how writer picked up on this one being uh, 42%. Um, so a lot more AI on that one. So we have our numbers, our results. I'm going to go and calculate it real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so here are the final results. So we tested five tools right here. Five, uh, four definitely are very popular tools. I don't think very many people uh, know about Hypotenuse, but I love using this tool. And with all my testing, this one performed, uh, possibly uh, I could say that it performed the best out of all the AI that I have written. Um, the This one performed the best, and so I am actually going heavy on this one right now even though it actually uh, scored, came in second place, right? So we can actually go and data sort this real quick. And I'm gonna sort it by the average. And we're gonna go with the um, highest, the largest, because uh, what this is, is the, the, the percentages that you see here are, is the human generated percentage, right? So you do want it to be 100%. You do want the highest score. And you can see right here that, you know, the paid monthly tools, um, do perform pretty darn good. Um, and uh, before, and I can tell you right now because I've done these tests a month or two ago when AI detection started becoming more popular and, and it became a thing, um, that testing these, I have my chart I could pull up. Um, these are already, every single one of these tools, um, at least these four um, right here, Jasper, Copy AI, Scalnet, and Hypotenuse, they're all performing a lot better. Um, in my tests a couple months ago, all uh, these two tools right here uh, performed less than 10%. I can tell you that right now. So they're already improving their tool uh, drastically. Um, and this right here would be a little bit of an alarm for me. So um, originality is the one that I trust the most. So this number right here, I trust the most. And that's just me. Um, and then they got a 1% right there. So, um, you know, just, just straight up writing uh, with chat GPT and throwing it on your site. Uh, it's, it's not something that I'm going to do. Uh, there might be a lot of YouTubers uh, creating videos that, that tell you to do that and they can show you that they're getting a lot of um, traffic and so forth. So that is up to you if you want to use that method. But I do uh, not like the 1% that I'm seeing right here. Um, but these are the results. Uh, so there you go. I will leave links to all of these below so you can go and check them out if you want to. I hope that this uh, video was valuable to you and make sure to subscribe to LearnWire so you get more tests, more tutorials, more software reviews, and uh, make sure to like that, uh, hit that like button. And I will see you in the next video.